my pleasure this morning to introduce our Hall of Fame class of 2023. First of all, this has been a well-attended event, and we want to recognize some people that have been elected to our Hall of Fame in times past. We have this morning letters from different Hall of Famers expressing congratulations to our three inductees. Dr. Robert Sloan, President of Houston Christian University, sent us a letter. Uh, Rick Myers, uh, a tennis champion when he was here, has sent a letter. Tom Stanton, a basketball star, former athletic director at Baylor, and former principal Jim Short all have sent letters. This morning in attendance, we want to recognize former members of our Hall of Fame. I'll ask you to stand. From our inaugural class of 1993, Mr. Mike Hughes. From our class of 2000, Pastor Mark Hewitt. From our class of 2013, former speech teacher and assistant principal, Mr. Ralph Thornhill. From the class of 2015, the choir director, Ms. Diane Hawley, is here. And the one that we surprised so well in 2019, the former cheer sponsor, former student council sponsor, is Donna Wise. <laughs> this morning we are inducting three new members into the Hall of Fame class of 2023. This will be our 89th, 90th, and 91st inductees. First, our 89th inductee into the Cooper Hall of Fame, Mr. Gail Gregg. Mr. Gregg served as the seventh principal in the history of Cooper High School before moving on to become the executive director of career and technical education, the principal of Holland Medical High School, the executive director of secondary education, the deputy superintendent of the AISD. In 2015, he was named the Region 12 CTE Administrator of the Year. Prior to that, he had been named the Texas Association of Secondary Schools Principal of the Year in 2007, the Outstanding Middle School Principal in 1997. He was also named the ACU Trio Champion Award recipient in 2006. He holds a Bachelor of Arts in Physical Education, Master of Secondary Education from Harding, was a four-year starter at tight end at Harding and Honorable Mention All-America in 1978. The 2011 Talisman Dedicatee is now retired after serving 39 years in education, 27 of those at the administrative level. He resides in Abilene with his wife for 45 years. Is Joan Gray. They have three children and eight grandchildren. Our 89th inductee, Mr. Gail Gray. Our 90th inductee to the Cooper Hall of Fame is Ms. Sharon Hanks. A 33-year member of the faculty at Cooper, Ms. Hanks served in a number of roles. She began her teaching career as a sophomore English teacher, became part of the fabric of Cooper, serving as sophomore for the sophomore, serving as sponsor for the sophomore class, sponsor of Cooper's Pride, sponsor for the Pep Squad, which became the Cooper X. Shortly thereafter, she was a senior English teacher, and with that added to sponsor of the senior class and sponsor for the future teachers of America. She also became the English department chair, a role that she managed for 18 years. She then, in 1998, became a senior counselor before her retirement in 2006. A 1972 graduate of Hart Simmons, she received a master's degree in guidance and counseling from ACU, was named Outstanding Young Women of America in 1975, Who's Who Among American Teachers in 92, and was a Towson dedicatee in 2004. Currently, she is retired here in Abilene. She has one daughter, Laura, two grandchildren, and three grand, uh, great-grandchildren. Our 90th inductee to the Cooper Hall of Fame, Ms. Sherilyn Hanks. And our ninth... We'll try to get here. Our 91st inductee to the Cooper Hall of Fame, Coach Jim McKinney. Yeah. 
Memphis, Tennessee, holds an undergraduate degree from Memphis State University, a master's in education from ACU. Coach McKinney taught for 32 years, 28 at, at Cooper in PE, Health and Social Studies. However, Coach McKinney is best known at Cooper for coaching gymnastics. His legendary career spent 25 years winning three state championships, four second place team finishes, eight third place team finishes. He coached 38 individual state champions. He was named Texas High School Gymnastics Coach of the Year five times, was twice named the National High School Gymnastics Coach of the Year. He's judged 120 national championship meets, including the U.S. Olympic Trials, U.S. Nationals, the NCAA Nationals, and 15 international championship meets. He and his wife, Lydia, currently live in Arlington. They have two daughters and three grandchildren. Our 91st inductee, Coach Jim McKinney. One more time, congratulations. These are the people that we look up to. They're Legacy is still imprinted on Cooper High School. One more time, let's hear it for our whole thing class. Thank you. 